Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and if you can't tell by my voice, today is a dark day for Gotham City. And I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold back the tears from falling down my face. Pause. Like, don't get me wrong, I did want to come from under the bed, but not like this. Not like this. Now, if you're not aware, the feds just unsealed an indictment on K Flock for a RICO charge and murder. The mandatory minimum, if he doesn't beat those charges or cooperate with authorities, is life in prison. Now, we're going to take our time with this because I want you guys to fully understand what's going on. See, at the beginning when K Flock caught this murder charge, there was still hope. Fans were certain that his lawyer would be able to beat the charges, possibly get him off on self-defense and only do time for the weapons possession. But one thing we noticed was that his court date kept getting pushed back and back. And it looks like we now understand why, because they were setting it up for the Rico, bro. This is honestly crazy. Now I'm going to read you guys the announcement of the unsealing of today's indictment. And it reads... The United States Attorney of the Southern District and the Commissioner of New York City Police Department announced the unsealing today of an indictment charging Kevin Perez, a.k.a. K. Flock, Devin Mason, a.k.a. B.J., Irvin Beeman, a.k.a. E.J., Nicholas Johnson, a.k.a. Nick, Sean Smith, a.k.a. Sticky, and Josie Castro, a.k.a. Jesse, with racketeering conspiracy and other crimes related to their membership in Sevside or DOA, a street gang based in the Bronx, New York. On January 26, 2003, a superseding indictment was unsealed charging Isaiah Rosen, aka Zay Munna, and Michael Gant, aka AP, with racketeering conspiracy and other crimes related to their membership in Third Side, a street gang also based in the Bronx, New York, that was closely affiliated with Sevside. K Flock was also charged with the gang related murder of Waska Hernandez, who was shot to death on December 16, 2021, in the Hamilton Heights section of Upper Manhattan. K Flock, BJ, EJ, Nick, Zay Munna and AP were further charged with multiple other violent crimes in connection with Sevside and Third Side gangs, including attempt murder and assault with dangerous weapon arising from seven shootings committed in the Bronx between June 2020 and February 2022. Now, the U.S. attorney said this about the indictment. Over a span of several years, the members of these gangs allegedly terrorized neighborhoods in the Bronx and Manhattan by killing and shooting other people. Through these charges, we will hold Southside and Third Side members responsible for plaguing our communities with gun violence. And the NYPD commissioner said this, The deadly nexus of gangs and illegal guns in New York City is a grave threat to public safety in our city. Combating this crisis is the NYPD's top priority. And today's indictments are another step towards ridding our streets of violence and fear. I want to thank the U.S. Attorney Office for the Southern District of New York and everyone else involved with this case who worked to make our city safer for all the people we serve. Now, what I'm going to do now is focus on the main character, which is Kay Flock. But I also want to speak on Sticky and Zay Munna's involvement in this indictment. Now, when it comes to Kay Flock's charges, they read... Racketeering, conspiracy, murder in aid of racketeering, use of a firearm resulting in death, attempt murder and assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, use of a firearm for attempt murder and assault with a dangerous weapon. And they're saying that he is facing a mandatory life in prison or death. Now, when I first saw that, I legit dropped down to my knees and shot right. I swear, bro, New York can't have anything nice. Mandatory life? That's insane, bro. You shitting me? Bro, he's the only one that got mandatory life. Like, let me read Sticky and Zay Munna's charges real quick. Now, when it comes to Sticky, he's facing racketeering, conspiracy, and possession of a firearm after a felony conviction. And he's facing a maximum of 30 years in prison. Now, I just gotta say... 
Isn't this Sticky's like 15th indictment, bro? I mean, of course I'm over exaggerating. I'm sure it's like around four or five, but bro, I always see his name popping up. And isn't he like a elder statesman of DOA? Oh, no. How do we reach these elder statesmen? Well, let's now read Zay Munna's charges. It says, racketeering conspiracy, attempt murder and assault with dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, use of a firearm for attempt murder and assault with a dangerous weapon, and also transportation and receipt of a firearm while under felony indictment. And he's facing the maximum of life in prison, a mandatory minimum 20 years to run consecutive to any other sentence. Well, there you have it, people. I honestly don't know what to say. Even though this is New York and they're really harsh when it comes to gun laws, I was holding out hope that k Flock's lawyer could possibly make something happen for him. But after seeing this Rico come down, bro, it's literally like Bobby Schmurda and GS9 all over again, bro. Now, we all know that the feds have like a 98, 99% conviction rate. I'm not telling you anything new. We all know this. Look, all I'm saying is this. We literally seen k Flock's rise. Shit, I was the first one to make a mini documentary on a kid. And just to see it in this way is mad sad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All of that talent, charisma, and star power that he had is now gonna be wasted behind bars. And they're literally trying to hit this kid with life. I honestly don't know what to say. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about the situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Meow.